G'day, g'day. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today is another different type of video. Today we're going to be ranking Fortnite skins. Now, these are from multiple different chapters. Uh, these are just randomly chosen by my team. But I'm interested to see what I rank. As you guys will see here, all the different skins we've got. Um, and I'll explain why I've ranked them what I have. But first up, we've got Black Knight. Now, he is OG. Um, he is, I mean, he's a pretty cool looking skin. Um, I don't have him personally. I don't think he's really that good of a skin as such as just his OG. Uh, because it's so OG, I think I'm going to have to put it maybe in the A tier. Uh, next up now we've got is Meow Schools. Now, Meow Schools, not rare. He was a Battle Pass skin from a few seasons ago. Um, I mean, he looks pretty cool. I do like his emote that he does have. And was from one of my favorite seasons that came out. Uh, Me Askels was. But, um, it's... He's still not really that good of a skin, in my opinion. He is pretty bulky. Takes up a lot of room in his screen. So I'm going to have to put him as a B here. Now, we got this green skin here. I Honestly, I don't even know what this is called. I do not like this skin at all. It's ugly. The eyes are huge. So I'm just going to go D tier. I just can't. It's just, I don't like it at all. Next, we got the, uh, this came with one of the painting series. I think it was Season X. Um, and there's also a female variant of this skin. I actually really like this skin, to be honest. But it's not, I wouldn't say it's S tier. I'd probably put it above Black Knight and A tier. Because it's not rare, but it's just a really clean skin. And the season was a really good season, too. Now we got Mystique. Mystique, she's just gonna have to go up to S tier. The reasoning is behind this is because her emote can make you change into any skin possible. Now that is just broken. You can even become things that not even skins in the game, like NPCs or um Yeah, just stuff like that. And bosses. It's crazy. Mystique is so of overpowered skin to use. That's why she's going into S tier. The skin itself looks okay, it's not really that good, but the features that they've added with this skin is crazy. Next up we got Ruby. Now Ruby I think is a really clean skin. Um, not rare, it came out a few seasons, quite a few seasons ago to be honest, maybe like two chapters ago. It's really clean skin, doesn't have any features though. It did come with a few backpack with like a few accessories, but I reckon she's going to go B tier above me askles. And next up, we got the Slurp guy. Now, I'm not a biggest fan of this guy. He doesn't really look... I mean, his face looks kind of cute. Uh, which you can't really see in this picture, which is annoying. But, um... He wasn't really... Like, a box user skin. Let's put it that way. It's not really a nice it's not a skin. It's not really a sweaty skin. Um, it was another Battle Pass skin. So I wanted to put him as a C tier. Next up, we got an Icon skin. We got Ninja. Now, Ninja was, one, I believe, one of the first Icon skins to come out in Fortnite. Um, the skin itself is... It's clean, but I wouldn't say it's an A tier. I'd probably put a B tier above Meow Schools. Um, the accessories came with it, though. They were pretty cool. Next up, we got Skull Trooper. Now, the OG Skull Trooper, the purple one, that was... I like that one. Um, I do like the other variants as well. Um, it is not rare, but it's a pretty cool cool skin so i'm gonna put that as b tier yeah probably above miascos as well because <laughs> miascos is just borderline on b tier uh next up we got uh oh i've got this guy's thing is flake flake power he's another uh icon skin i don't even know who this guy is he's some overseas streamer um the skin itself though i actually kind of like the skin it's got two styles uh one as, as you see here this one and there's this one i like this style better it's it's clean um but i reckon it's not really that good and again above me askles me askles is barely holding on at this stage next up we got the avatar guy now i hated when these mythics came out for these guys all the mythics were avatar and all the anime mythics i hated those things and they ruined the game for me but the skin itself is really plain. There's not, not too much detail. I mean, yes, it is like the comics and the animes that he's in. But I really do not like the skin. So he's going to have to go D tier. 
Next up, we got another icon skin. We got Loser Fruit. Now, yes, she is an Aussie like me, but her skin is clean. I really do like uh, Loser Fruit skin, so she's gonna have to go S tier above Mystique. Now, um, she does have, I believe, different like reactive things with her skin, which I do think is pretty cool. We'll leave it up there. Next up, we got John Cena. Now, I don't even have this skin myself. Now, John Cena is, I think, his emo is better than the skin, to be honest. Now, the skin, yes, it just it looks like John Cena, right? Is a wrestler. And it's mainly hyped up because of his fame. The skin itself, you know, not really much to it. There's no really details or anything. So I'm going to put him actually as C tier. Now, that's a little bit controversial, to be honest, but there's nothing to it. It's just a plain skin. No details, no secrets or anything like that. Next up, we got Laser Beam. Now, Laser Beam, again, another Aussie YouTuber. Lots of style, like another style, lots of um, options, an emote, backpack. He's even got secrets. He's got a laser, ta uh, laser code laser um, tattoo on his arm. So I have to rate it. He has secrets in it. He's even got a mini Gingy, which is a little uh, Easter egg back to his OG skin or when he used to play as Gingy. Um, now. This is a pretty good skin, in my opinion. It's another S tier. To be honest, even above Loser Fruit. <laughs> now we got next one, we've got Booger, another icon skin. Uh, another streamer, YouTuber. He's an FNCS winner, I believe, or um, World, Cup, World Cup winner. The skin itself is kind of plain. There's not really too much to it. Um, I think it's kind of more of a rushed uh, one. So I'm gonna put him here in C tier. Just because I'm not really the biggest fan. His emotes are okay. Everything's kind of just, it's just mid. It's okay. So, next we got Lynx, I believe this is called. Now, this is like a female cat skin. Um, pretty cool skin. Pretty OG, I would say. Not like really OG, but it is kind of OG. Um, I do like this skin. It is clean. It's pretty plain, though, but it is clean. So, I'm going to put it in A tier. Next up, we got. I'm pretty sure this is the king and maybe like the ice king or something like that now uh, Again pretty OG not really that OG quite like chapter one chapter two sort of time uh, I think it's more like chapter two, but it's it's got lots of lots of going on um, I'm pretty sure there's multiple styles for this skin as well. It's pretty mid so it's gonna go probably above uh, Play here in B tier Next we got Ali Aiskin. Now Ali Aiskin has so many styles. It's really customizable. There's so many things you can do with Ali Aiskin. There's lots of timing put in and with emotes and backpacks and gliders as well. I really do like the Ali, Ali Aiskin. I sucks I don't have it myself. I probably to be honest would use it if I had it. Purely for the fact that I don't use it. He would be an S tier, but because I don't use it, he's gonna go top of A tier. Next up, we got, I'm uh, pretty sure this is the Omega skin. This is a really OG skin, a really clean looking skin. Um, if you had all the styles, there are so many different styles and variants to it. Uh, again, I really like the skin, so he's going to go probably A tier. Just below Ali A, because to be honest, I mean, even though Ali A skin was gone off this, there's just more styles with the Ali A skin, so it's just going to go behind Ali A there. Next up, we got an OG skin here, Renegade Raider. Renegade Rado's pretty plain skin. I don't have it either uh, on this my main account anyway. Um, I do like the skin a lot, um, but I don't think it's going to be really high up on the tier. Unfortunately, it's going to go B tier. Next up, we got Lachlan, another Fortnite YouTuber streamer in Australia. Um, he's really the skin's really cool in my opinion with the reactive styles. I think it's as you get more kills, it glows up more. Maybe as you get into the game, you know, lightning starts glowing. The backpack, you know, the power back bling, that's a really cool link into his team power. So I'm going to put this in A tier, probably above loser fruit, you know, really well. Now, next last one up, and the next one. So we got Iron Man. This is the old version of Iron Man, I believe. Um, it was one of my favorite seasons, that Marvel season. Uh, purely because of the season that he was in. It's got to give him a little bit of a boost of a ranking. Um, I do like the emote, so you can change into Tony Stark as well. The built-in emote with the skin. 
Um, of course, the skin got way better looking when you added on the mythic stuff or like the other Iron Man gear that's in the game. And purely because of how much stuff you could do with it during that time, I would put it really high up. But now, I don't use the skin that much. He's it's still a clean skin, but it's not really a skin that I would rate as S tier. I'm not even A tier, so to be honest, you're probably going to top of B tier above Ruby here. If you'll let me put him up there. There we go. So there we go, guys. That's my ranking. That's the ranking of the Fortnite um, skins that I've that, I, that my team chose for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good day and peace out.